welcome back to the YouTube channel. Here with you at Cool Crypto, where we talk about all your favorite cryptos out there, guys. Remember, it's not just crypto, it's Cool Crypto. Um, you're probably wondering why I am holding my phone in this position, but I am currently filming a video, but I have a child in my lap. So, um, I don't know what, what YouTube's guidelines are with uh, showing children in videos, but uh, before I upload a video, it always asks me if there is children in the video. I don't, I don't know why, but so I, I don't want to get banned or whatever reason, guys, but I am just going to give you guys a brief update on Saitama Inu. Uh, we are going to look at the charts real quick also, and then I'm going to give you guys some information on the post AMA, guys. Um, so real quick, obviously, you guys saw my final thoughts on, Sa on Sa Saitama and the Sata Realty launch. As you guys all currently know, everybody was kind of frustrated about what happened during the launch. They weren't able to get in um, at the current moment, man. I mean, I kind of had some time to process this and I got to be honest with you guys. Um, my personal opinion, you know, I I've tried to get into so many launches and I've, you know, I couldn't get in, obviously, because of the high traffic in the blockchain um, or just uh, the, the gas fees being tremendously high. But I, I move forward from it. And you know what? I celebrate the victories that all those other people are able to get in and um, geared towards financial freedom. So, I mean, one of the things that I personally got to I got to say to the Saitama community is just be happy for those that got in. You know, they were able to get in, congr congratulate them, and, you know, that just, just that's it, man. That, that's my honest opinion. But anyway, so um, real quick, guys. So as, as opposed to AMA, they were talking a lot about what really happened, the bandwidth issues that they had, um, something about the traffic, how they weren't expecting so much traffic. But yet again, uh, prior to the launch, people had like, people had been talking to Russ and Max and the whole Saitama development team telling them, okay, are your, be are your servers beefed up? And ready to go so that you guys can handle the traffic. Yes, yes, we are. We beefed them up this many times, this many times. And I was kind of shocked to hear during the AMA yesterday when Russ, um, you know, was mentioning that, okay, well, you know, there's a lot of traffic. Let's beef up the servers 10x. Let's beef up the servers 100x and, uh, and eventually 300x. I was pretty upset to hear that because, yes, I get it. They're not a multi-million dollar company that, you know, can pour out money to get a, uh, a tech department or a tech team to squash out all these issues or have an auto, auto scaling bandwidth, um, you know, service. It, it's kind of upsetting though, to be real with you because a lot of money gets poured in to say Tama. And I'm not, I'm not funding the project guys. Remember, I'm a firm believer in what they do and what they have to offer and the whole ecosystem that they're building. What does gear me or it just really, really takes me off is the fact that if Max has had so many opportunities and so many failed launches, so many failed attempts uh, with the whole state of mask, with the whole rolling out of the new updates, uh, bug fixes and stuff, we need to get Max the support that he deserves. So in reality, if Russ is over here talking about, hey, you know what, we pull out the checkbook, this is a self-invested project, um, I, I got to disagree with you, Russ, because we're out here putting our money as well. And I also got to say, if you're putting out a million dollars like this, come on, bro, let, let's get him the equipment he needs if you're consistently having to pull out that checkbook um that way we don't have these problems and when we do spike we keep spiking continuously and delete a zero instead of adding a zero that's just um my honest opinions but that those were some of the things that were discussed in the ama and how we're looking to move forward i know they talked about uh you know getting together a way to compensate people who lost the ethereum fees uh because of the failed transactions. So I'm kind of glad that Max didn't just say, hey, you know what, it's the blockchain, it's not our problem. So I appreciate them as a community for addressing that and wanting to take care of it from the from the get-go. So that was probably the best answer that he could have given. I think uh, Cryptobolics, our old guy David, was one of the guys who asked the questions. And, you know, it's probably the perfect, the brilliant, the most brilliant question that anybody could have asked during the AMA. But um, I gotta say, guys, you know, I'm very, very, very frustrated with the whole launch thing. And right now, the whole state of realty thing has been uh, paused for about a week or two. I do got to say, though, uh, from what I got from the AMA, the state of realty tokens that are in your wallet and the price that it reflects, they did come from that it is accurate and that it, it is correct. So at the current moment, I don't know if all of you guys are still able to process any transactions through state of realty. Um, if you are, I'm hearing that people are only to, uh, able to purchase like a minimal amount. So... Uh, they did not say if it was completely live 100% or anything. I think they still got to inject liquidity, but 
once they do guys and this thing goes off uh from my understanding they're not going to relaunch they're not going to do a v2 they're not doing a new contract they're just going to try to uh, salvage whatever whatever is going on at the current moment uh, from what I hear as well, the the wallets that were able to purchase more than the five trillion uh, or the five percent price impact uh, at the moment of the launch were officially blacklisted, and they're going to be buying back those tokens and sending them to burn wallets. Or, or I'm sorry, uh, to rephrase that correctly, those are actually burn wallets, and they are getting blacklisted. Those people will be compensated as far as their transactions, so they will be reimbursed. But that's pretty much uh, what I have for you guys at the current moment. Uh, this was a pretty hefty and long AMA, guys. It went on for about two hours. And uh, the reason how I know this is obviously because one, I was on it. Two, I was on my way to Oxnard all the way from the Inland Empire. And I got to tell you guys, man, it's about a two and a half hour to three hour drive. And it was on the whole way, the whole drive there. The, uh, Ten minutes prior to me arriving there, that's when it finished. But... Other than that, guys, um, you know, let's let's just stay strong. As a Wolfpack member, I got to say I'm very excited for what's to come uh, with the whole state of realty. And everybody who got in, congratulations. I'm very excited for you guys. You guys deserve the W. Uh, for the rest of you guys who didn't, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, that there is going to be more projects out there. Uh, like they mentioned, we're going to have Lucky Roo onboarded as a state of mask exclusive. So I'm glad they're getting the practice right now with the whole state of realty launch. So that way they can be better prepared once Lucky Roo is exclusive to say the mask. But other than that, guys, that is all I have for you at the current moment. Um, remember, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Always invest at your own risk. But other than that, guys, everybody stay cool out there. Thank you.